the treatment of peri perimplantitis is at least difficult. If this ablative therapy is failing, wouldn't it be cool if we would have some, let me say, helpers which penetrate the biofilm and act under the biofilm directly on the surface of the titanium, independently from the kind of the surface, brand or type of titanium. And this is possible. We achieve that by a galvanoelectric approach. If we load the implant with a current and we have ions, these ions would penetrate the biofilm within milliseconds and act on the surface. And I will show you how. In this image, you see the connector which, and the spray head. And in blue, you see the cleaning solution, which um, allows uh, uh, the, the current. It has a conductivity which is appropriate. By the currents, water is split into, hydro into hydrogen cations and anions. The cations penetrate the biofilm within milliseconds, and the implant is loaded negatively, four to five volts. Those hydrogen cations pick up an electron, and you all know what we get. We will have hydrogen. We will have hydrogen which bubbles the biofilm away, which lifts off the biofilm by bubbles. This takes a time, only one minute till the biofilm is completely removed in vitro. Clinically, we use now a device and working for two minutes to be sure. And I will share, first of all, the in vitro tests we did the last seven years. This is one of the developers you see, Holger Ziprich. He acts as a guinea pig for us because he doesn't, uh, he doesn't get an implant on this missing molar. He, you see this, uh, this grayish uh, plastic tube protecting the implant inside uh, from being uh, um, contaminated by epithelium cells or debris from the mouth. And uh, this allows a biofilm to grow. You see it in the central picture. And if we put this to one of the cleaning solution, apply uh, a voltage, four to five volts, then you see the hydrogen bubbles lifting off the biofilm. And of course, we uh, harvested some of those test implants, put it to the SEM before and after. And here you can see uh, the biofilm after uh, a few days. I think it was eight days, I'm not quite sure to be honest. And after cleaning, this is a surface looking really like a fresh implant surface. Does it work only for a sandblasted and etched surface? No. We tested, as I said before, different surfaces, different brands, different kinds of alloys, and there was no different found. Uh, we were able to remove the biofilm completely. Then we asked dentists to send us uh, implants which were explanted because of periimplantitis. We, are, we, we get a collection of about 300 implants, different brands and everything. We cleaned it and you can see the bone on the surface and the surface completely clean and the clinical picture of the implant showed the bone remained on the implant. So one question I'm asked always, does it uh, harm the bone? Of course it doesn't, because the cleaning solution uh, is not in contact with the implant. So there is no voltage, so, 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 so the bone stays undamaged.